Well, wake Up Central helps you wake up smarter, of course. We go by uh, beyond the headlines every single morning, even though it's not advised air travel still possible during this pandemic, but it may have just gotten more difficult. Well, you now have to get a COVID test before returning to the U.S. But what about getting a vaccine shot? Cheryl Mercedes is connecting the dots on the future of air travel amidst the pandemic. Now that coronavirus testing is required for any traveler returning to the U.S. from abroad, will vaccines be far behind? Let's connect the dots. Until coronavirus vaccines become readily available, testing will be a necessary part of travel, at least when it comes to traveling abroad. But what about when vaccines are available? Experts say it will be unlikely a coronavirus shot will be required for domestic travel. Most airlines in the U.S. have not required tests before boarding, so experts think it is unlikely they will require vaccines. But if you are traveling internationally, it might be a different story. Qantas Airlines, an Australian carrier, has already announced it will require passengers to get a coronavirus vaccine. Korean Air says it is thinking about it as well. Some countries already require specific vaccinations before you can enter. For example, a lot of places in Africa and South America require proof you have been vaccinated against yellow fever. So how will you provide proof you have been vaccinated? When you are vaccinated for yellow fever, you are given a so-called yellow card you can present for entry. Experts predict something similar can be done for coronavirus, but the much more likely solution will be an app that stores proof of your vaccination. A few are already being tested, with one called Common Pass seen as the most promising. Connecting the dots, I'm Cheryl Mercedes.